Hello, I'm Chi Pin Su, and together with me is Anna Hunter, VP of Foundry at Samsung Semiconductor, and Dipesh Patel, VP and General Manager, Physical IP Division at ARM. We're here to tell you about the 14 nanometer FinFET implementation of the ARM Cortex A7, jointly taped out by Samsung, ARM, and Cadence. Energy efficient computing is essential to the mobile market, and we chose the Cortex A7 because it is critical to ARM's big little technology that we have designed to address this particular requirement. Samsung's 14 nanometer FinFET uh, technology is our first uh, three-dimensional FinFET uh, offering that's added into our process technology roadmap. Uh, this is very anticipated by our customers because it brings uh, much, much improved short channel effects, which uh, at these very uh, deep submicron geometries allows for better ion current performance while also delivering low power, uh, which is uh, a big improvement over previous generations. The design is a huge milestone for the semiconductor industry because it's the first high-performance Cortex A-series processor to be taped out on 14 nanometer thin-fat process. It's also one of the first box CMOS 14 nanometer thin fat tape outs in the industry. The project was a collaboration between three partners. Each partner brought a particular expertise to the project. Samsung brought the process expertise, Cadence brought their EDA tool expertise, and ARM brought the physical IP expertise. By having all three partners work together, we are able to understand the problems that our customers would face and solve these problems before the customers get to their SOC design point. And by doing so, our customers face much lower risks when they are starting to do their SOC design on the FinFET technology. We've been collaborating with ARM and Cadence for many years, and so this uh, total ecosystem development work and early collaboration is a major advantage to Samsung's foundry customers. And the most unique thing about this test chip was this was the most complex test chip that we've ever done at this early stage in the process. And also, we managed to do the whole test chip in record time. From the time we got the final RTL and the final libraries to the time we taped out was about eight weeks. And that wouldn't have been possible unless all three teams worked very, very closely together. 